Founded in 1908 by oil exploration pioneer E. W. Marland, the 101 Ranch Oil Company was located on the Miller Brothers 101 Ranch and headquartered in Ponca City, Oklahoma. The company's 1911 oil discovery in northeastern Oklahoma opened up oil development in a great region from eastern Oklahoma west to Mervine, Newkirk, Blackwell, Billings and Garber and led to the founding of the Marland Oil Company, later renamed the Continental Oil Company, now known as Conoco. <laughs> <laughs> Background Ernest Whitworth Marland was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on May 8, 1874. Marland studied to be an attorney, receiving an LL.B. from the University of Michigan Law School at the age of 19 in 1893. Marland moved back to Pittsburgh and set up private practice. As an attorney representing local coal and oil interests, Marlin became interested in geology and by the age of 33, the young lawyer had become involved in a series of local coal and oil promotions which soon made him a small fortune. Unfortunately for Marlin, the millions he had amassed were lost following the Panic of 1907. By 1908, Marlin was broke and without a job. Founding Interested in re-establishing his oil ventures, Marlin came to Ponca City upon the urging of a relative, Lieutenant Franklin Roosevelt Kenny, who introduced Marlin to the Miller brothers, Joseph Joe, Carson Miller, Zachary Zach, Taylor Miller and George Lee Cockernut Miller, of the famous 101 Ranch near Ponca City. He decided that the ranch surface geology indicated that there was oil in the area. Geology was his divining rod, he said, a science yet to be proven in the hunt for crude. Marland returned to Pittsburgh and raised $500,000 for a new oil venture, naming it the 101 Ranch Oil Company with himself as president and taking into the company as directors, O. W. Ainsley, the chef at Pittsburgh's Boyer Hotel, J. G. McCaskey, a sauerkraut producer, Marland's relative, F. R. Kenny, a retired chair manufacturer, George Miller of the 101 Ranch, and Marland's father-in-law, Samuel Collins who was also elected treasurer. Topic. Drilling for oil Upon his return to the ranch he began drilling. The first well located near the White House, the ranch headquarters for the Miller Brothers 101 Ranch, was a 2,500-foot dry well. The next seven wells were uneconomic gas wells and by 1910 the company was on the verge of failure. Topic. Restructure Then John G. McCaskey, the «sauerkraut king», a wealthy investor and young Pittsburgh adulthood friend of Marlin's reorganized the company. Elected president, McCaskey raised funds from Pittsburgh investors including W. H. McFadden, a retired Carnegie Steel Company executive and J. M. Weaver, a business associate of McCaskey's. McFadden was elected vice president and general manager of the company and Weaver was elected secretary and treasurer. In 1911 Pittsburghers held the stock of the company. These were E. W. Marlin, J. G. McCaskey, W. H. McFadden, G. W. Baum, N. A. Hempel, Pittsburgh Alderman J. J. Kirby, J. M. Weaver, B. H. Gibson, C. L. Stevens, J. J. Kearns, and Marlin's father-in-law Samuel C. Collins. Later, McCaskey appointed Louis Haynes Wentz, an employee in his sauerkraut operation, secretary of the company. Ponca lease With new money, and using his practical knowledge of geology Marland choose a new well site at an elongated and isolated hill near Bodark Creek that he thought was a geological high as well as a topographic high. However, the hill Marland picked was a burial ground for the Ponca tribe. Actually the Ponca bound their dead, laid them upon scaffolds and wild animals devoured them. 
These scaffolds were on the crest of the hill in the exact location that Marland wanted to drill. Marland and the Millers met with White Eagle, chief of the Ponca and emerged with permission to drill off the crest of the hill on an allotment owned by the Ponca Indian, Willie Cries. For a $1,000 annual payment and a 12.5% override, a lease was obtained from Willie Cries, and on June 11, 1911, that well Willie Cries for War struck oil and stayed in production until 1976, bringing wealth to the company and its investors. One. Marland Oil Company and Conoco The main office was in Ponca City and the company stayed in operation until 1917 when it was sold for cash and stock in the Marland Oil Company, later January 3, 1921, incorporated in Delaware to acquire through an exchange of stock control of the Marland Refining Co. and K County Gas Co. name changed to Continental Oil Company June 26, 1929, at which time it acquired for a consideration of 2,317,000 266 shares of stock, the assets subject to liabilities of Continental Oil Company, a main corporation, founded in 1875 as the Continental Oil and Transportation Company, based in Ogden, Utah, originally a coal, oil, kerosene, grease and candles distributor in the West. <laughs> Images equals equals notes <laughs>